Hey guys, so today I'm going to walk you through my very simple, clean, vegan beauty routine. These are products that I've loved for years and I really feel have made a huge difference on my skin. I feel like my skin is plumped and hydrated and um, just very smooth. So yeah, I feel like this is for the first time in like... 28 years 29 how old am i 28 <laughs> um i feel like my skin is at a point where it's like it's been you know it's at its best i feel so um so yeah so let's start with cleansing this is something that i will do um in the evening um mainly just in the evening in the morning i just tend to just splash my face with cold water and that's it uh, and in the evening, especially if I've been out and about, I live in London, so there's lots of pollution. Or if I've been wearing makeup, I just like to, you know, get a proper just cleanse and clean my face really well. Um, and my favorite way to cleanse um, that I've discovered last year is to use either an oil cleanser um, or a cream cleanser that you use with a hot cloth. Um, I used this just simple almond oil for very long um, and it's perfect for my skin it just really just you know gets rid of all the impurities um, and then you just use a hot cloth that you put under hot water and then you just place it on your face like this for a few seconds and then you just wipe everything away but recently I started using this Liz Earl cleansing polish hot cloth cleanser. I will link all the products that I'm talking about um, down below. But um, yeah, it's, it's a really nice cream texture and you just put it on dry skin and you just really massage it in and then again you just use the hot cloth to take it away. Uh, if I'm not doing uh, that, if I just have no makeup on and if I just haven't been out that much, I also just simply like to wash my face with a natural um, soap, just simply as, you know, as simple as that. I don't use anything that fancy. Um, I just like to use a soap that's um, based, like a vegetable oil soap. So I love using olive oil soaps. Or this one, I think, is um, these are soaps that my dad brings us back from the Himalayas. He always goes once a year. And these are made with coconut oil, castor seed oil, water, sunflower seed oil, neem seed oil, Himalayan salt, and patchouli oil. So just a really gentle, natural soap is sometimes all I need and all I feel like my skin needs. So yeah, but generally the hot cloth method is what I use most evenings. Okay, then we go to toner. So this is a toner that I've been using for, I don't know, maybe two years. And I really love it. It's the Ren Ready Steady Glow. And I've been using this for a long time and I really love it. It is, um, it has um, AHA, which is kind of exfoliating. It's kind of like a chemical exfoliator and it really makes you glow. It's, it's really amazing. So I would recommend this one. Um, and I like to use it with, I also love the pump system because it's just a pump like this that you just press um, and it's just really handy and it doesn't go everywhere. And I like to use these reusable um, cotton pads that I actually just, a friend of my mom's made these for me and they're really cute, they have little pandas on the other side. Um, but you can find those in a lot of places these days and um, and they're great, you just, I just use them and then I put them in a little bag and, until, and then when the bag is full I just uh, put that into my washing machine when I'm doing a load and yeah they're just amazing okay and then we're gonna go on to serums so i've only entered the world of serums maybe i don't know a year ago um i was completely obliv oblivious i just i just had a really minimal routine but i just i don't know i didn't really know much about what, what the order of what you should be using and when and how um, anyway, so I'm slowly just learning about it a little bit more and I really have loved this exfoliating serum by Mad Hippie. Again, it's exfoliating so um, I tend to, if, I, if I'm using the tonic, I tend to not use this afterwards because it's just maybe a little bit too harsh. 
um, but yeah, I just use this maybe, you know, two or three times a week and I feel like, again, it just gives you that glow and your skin is just incredibly smooth afterwards and it's, I feel like it's much more gentle as an exfoliation than if you were going to like, you know, scrub your face with a proper grainy scrub. Um, so yeah, and this brand is amazing, Mad Hippie, if you haven't, um, if you haven't seen them before. So yeah, this one, I just do a few drops on my forehead, on my cheeks, on my chin. I just massage it in properly all over my face and I let it sit for about 10 minutes. And after the 10 minutes, I just continue on with my routine. I normally just do this in the evening. So while I'm just letting it sit, I'll brush my teeth and then I continue. Uh, yeah, so this has really just helped to get rid of dead skin cells, of all the pollution and everything that gets kicked into your skin. Um, yeah, and it has just really made me glow and made a huge difference. So highly recommend. Another product which have has literally just changed my skin I feel especially this winter I only have started using it's um I never know how to pronounce it properly but hyaluronic acid I think that's it um and so I mean it's obviously you've probably heard of it it's all the craze in the skin world skincare world at the moment but um yeah, it's just an amazing serum. I've seen a huge difference in my skin. It really has just helped to keep the my skin hydrated and plump and especially in the winter in the winter months, it has made a really big difference. So this one I love is by The Ordinary. Um again, if you don't know this brand, it's really amazing. They have really really amazing products for um for an amazing price point. I think this is maybe 5 pounds or 6 pounds. Um, and I bought this a few months ago and I'm only halfway through so it just really is great value um, and they just really do like you know clean products and also they're vegan and not tested on animals so that's also great so I won't do both serums if I'm doing one I'm just I just don't do another one normally um, I mean I'm sure that's just maybe not the right way to do it, but that's the way I do it. Um, recently, I've been kindly sent these amazing products by Romilly Wild, which is, um, again, a all natural, vegan, uh, mostly vegan, not all their products. Some of their product, product use, um, some of their products has beeswax in it, I think, but they have a few vegan products um, and also not tested on animals, of course. Uh, and yeah, so they sent me their Supercell Serum, which, Advanced Supercell Serum, which is really, again, amazing. And it's not, um, it's not like a gel or creamy, watery serum. It's, it's, it feels like a proper cream, which again, I think is amazing in the winter time. It really just feels like I'm just layering it on and it's just, it almost feels like, um, like a moisturizer and so if I am using this one I tend to just use this and then actually skip the moisturizer step because it is really rich um, and I just use one pump just put it all over my face and I I know I've said this about a few products but this in conjunction with the other product they've sent me oh has everywhere um, they sent me this active boost face oil i mean i've been using this just to test them out for maybe a month and a half or more and i mean the difference in my skin before i use this was is just like it's amazing i just i'm not gonna be able to like ever get rid of these i'm gonna have to keep buying them um i i i'm starting to get fine lines around my eyes and not that I'm self-conscious about it, I, you know, that's part of aging and I'm embracing it. Um, but these two products have really helped smooth the lines. I guess maybe it's added um, more moisture to my skin than maybe the other products I was using was lack were lacking. But yeah, these two products together. So if I, if I use these, um, I just basically do cleanse, tonic, these two and that's it. So really simple, like I just, I don't use anything else and it's just made a huge difference. So I like to use these at night because they're quite heavy and just the oil is also quite thick and just layers on quite well over the serum. And I just, it's a really nice, um, it's really nice at night because it just really keeps, you know, absorbs through the night and you wake up literally like glowing with all the fine lines I feel I've been smooth. I mean, it's like magical. Um, 
so yeah so these two i would say are my like hero products at the moment and um i just can't say enough good things about them um so yeah and another addition that i guess i've started using in the past maybe year or so is an eye cream um this is something that my mom has told me she said i mean my mom barely uses anything and she's just she's just has beautiful skin uh but the one thing she said she said once you hit your late 20s start using an eye cream and get a really good one don't just go cheap um so again mad hippie i've been using this eye cream for um about six months and it's just been really amazing and again all natural really beautiful um really beautiful brand i love them then as a moisturizer i i just kept going back and forth between a few products i have really sensitive skin and if i use something that's really too um rich or too oily or um i just i don't know a lot of a lot of moisturizers would just break me out or i would start having like little bumps on my forehead and i just couldn't really figure it out and i mean i've always had really sensitive skin like anything i put on that's new like i react you know if it's not super gentle and super natural i react straight away um and i just go really red and it goes like warm and just so i know there's a lot of products i can't use um, so I just went back to basics to literally like the most simple cream that you could get is from Aven. Um, I think it has literally just like five ingredients or something and it's for, it's called the Tolerance Extreme. So it's for really sensitive, like hypersensitive, um, skin. Um, and so at the moment, as I said, I've been using the Romilly Wild, um, serum and oil just in the evening and no moisturizer and then in the morning I will do the hyaluronic acid and um, the moisturizer and an oil so I just keep it really simple mostly I'm using three or four products and that's it so in terms of oil so of course I've already spoken about the the Romilly Wild one which I love um, which I will do in the evening but yeah in the morning I like to just I still like to have an oil I really love the the glow that it gives you and it just really adds in a lot a lot of moisture which I think just the cream alone doesn't really quite do it um, and again because I'm really sensitive I found that um, a lot of oils will break me out but this oil, which is Quailin oil, has been amazing and it just is really good again for sensitive skin and it hasn't broken me out at all. It really adds, um, it just it just makes you just glow and and I really love it. And I just, you can mix it into your moisturizer if you want or I just add it afterwards. I just put a few drops and massage it, massage it in. Um, and yeah, what I've been told is that you should always do the oil last. So you should start with what's the most water based products and just go to you know to the heaviest which will be oil based so you start with you know liquid watery toners you go to your gel like serums um you do your moisturizer which is a little bit heavier and then you end with your oil so yeah again from the ordinary this is an amazing square lane and again like the price is amazing i think this again is probably six pounds um i mean it's amazing i just i don't know how they do it but um and compared to i've tried some more expensive square lane oils and i just i can't i really just can't see any difference so yeah this is this is the one to go for if you want to try it out um and again great for a sensitive skin like mine um yeah i just i would highly recommend it so yeah so that's pretty much it for what i do morning and evening um i do i've just added this product because i do like to just keep this in my handbag it's an anti-pollution face mist i love face mists <laughs> like i could just spray them all day long um i use them mostly in the summer but i do like it um in the winter as well and this one this one from the cow shed is um especially good because it's it's um it's got lots of amazing um natural essential oils and aloe vera and things like that that help to combat aging from all the pollution that you would get in a city um so yeah and it smells amazing and i just i seriously just could do this all day um and i especially 
love it when it's really hot in the summer but yeah this is a great little addition it just it just freshens you up basically um so yeah so that's pretty much it for my the bulk of my routine but i just wanted to add a couple extra things that i've been doing one of them is um all the rage at the moment <laughs> and of course i had to try it and it's gua sha so this is a jade um i think it's a jade gua sha and it's i'll link to a couple of videos that i i have watched to learn how to do this and i'm not an expert but again it has just brought so much more elasticity in my skin um helped reduce fine lines especially around the eyes and yeah so i do this in the evening and in the morning if i think about it but it helps just drain your lymphatic system in your face it helps to depuff your eyes to depuff your face in general um and yeah it helps get things moving get your blood flowing and uh, I mean, it's a really ancient practice, so it's, you know, it's, it's, it's been, it has amazing properties. The stone itself has a lot of properties, um, and I'll link again to a few that, um, that I really love. But yeah, so this, I won't show you now because it takes a bit of time, but you basically just like, just go up on your face like this, and it just, it's, yeah it's really really nice it's a nice little ritual that i love to add i don't do it religiously every night half the time i forget so um but yeah it's a really nice thing to do um especially if you feel a little bit puffy if it's, you know in the winter when your sinuses feel a bit puffy as well and, and blocked up then this helps to kind of get things moving so yeah highly recommend and um I also have the jade roller which is kind of similar but a little bit less intense than the gua sha because this you just really go in and I prefer this but um, I actually quite enjoy this especially using the small end for under the eyes which I find a lot easier to use than um, than doing it with this but yeah love both of these we'll link to these ones that I bought on Amazon I think <laughs> Um, lastly, um, I know that I've been mentioning a few products that are exfoliating and are kind of chemical, kind of natural exfoliators and are not, you know, like grainy, like, I don't know what the word is for it, but I love to use this one from Upcircle. It's made with, with, um, coffee grounds that have been, um, used by cafes and restaurants in around London so uh, a great product to use is zero waste obviously uh, and they use just beautiful oils in there and I just really love this smell it just smells like coffee and orange it just is really delicious so I also have the body scrub um, from from them um, and as you can see it's been well loved <laughs> I'm having a hard time squishing it all out but uh, yeah their face scrub is really nice and I do this when I have a bath uh, maybe like you know on a Sunday and I just like to really take my time with it and just scrub all over um, so this is a nice thing to do but again I don't try I don't exfoliate if I you know if I'm doing the toner and I'm doing this the exfoliating serum I don't um, you know I don't do overdo it especially in the winter because then your skin becomes really dry and just you know you can you can just definitely over exfoliate um and then one last product that i've been loving which is more for the body but it's this um this beautiful oil from liha which is another um local all natural brand which i'll link below um i met the founder a few months ago she's amazing <music> Sleep while driving